Yeah, the day is dying in the West. Hey friends, it's Amy Register, your belligerent Bible worker working out of the Arroyo Grande Seventh-day Adventist Church. If you've missed the last segment, a quick recap is that I am really turned on to digital evangelism right now. Finally, here is my call to action. I wanna ask you to join the army of people who are rising up and saying, just like the printing press, just like radio, just like TV, we want to see our church move into the next big medium for evangelism. Here are four ideas that you can use to kind of spread the gospel, a little G of digital evangelism. Number one, please show this video to somebody, perhaps several somebodies in your church, on your board, in a decision-making position. The more people that we have excited about digital evangelism, the more we can move unified towards that goal. Number two, start looking for somebody, praying over somebody that you can train up as a volunteer in your church. That would be the easiest, cheapest way to get started. Maybe there's somebody already interested in this. Maybe there is a young person whose skills you could harness and bring them in to the work alongside you. Maybe there's an older person who has been fantastic at videography or photography and you can harness those skills to get this stuff online. Minimally, I would say, why not start by streaming your sermons, putting those on YouTube, or panel discussions for Sabbath School. Maybe you guys have a lot of musical talent in your church. Please put those special musics online. That would be an amazing channel to watch. Cute kids videos or kids talking about biblical themes. That would be a stinking adorable. Putting your sermons or your special musics online would be a great move. It doesn't take a ton of effort or a ton of planning time. It's stuff that's already happening. Get that stuff online. Learn how to tag it, hashtag it properly so that it comes up in searches and you've at least got a viable product there. More involvement would look like creating original content, doing a weekly devotional or a class of some sort. Number three, a big step up would be to hire somebody that could help your church with this project. Maybe your conference already has a Bible worker program or a cross trainer program like the CCC does. Maybe not. It doesn't hurt to ask for what's available financially from your conference if you chose to invest in this kind of evangelism. You might as well ask, you might as well make a proposal, you might as well plan. Number four, and this is some big level thinking, but if there is no money available for you at your conference level, and that's just beyond what your church could do budget-wise to hire somebody, why not talk to other churches in your region and look at what you guys could do to share resources on personnel costs, marketing, equipment, and see if there's any way you could support a digital Bible worker as a regional plan instead of just for your own church. All right, that's it. That's all I got right now. Thank you for watching. You probably have questions and comments. If so, email me, greaterthanrubies7 at gmail.com or leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to do what I can to answer. If you've appreciated this series, what would do my heart the most good is if you would simply share with somebody. I would love for the message of our need for digital evangelism to go far and wide. I'd love to see this movement uh, really take off in our churches. And of course, I'd love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. And keep looking, keep checking back because I'm gonna have a heap of resources for you in the description below this video. That's it for now. See you soon.